it looked like a dog. So, um, we know heatless curls aren't my friend, so we're trying sock curls. So, I guess it kind of worked. So, um, I went to the orthodontist or whatever. The people that pulled out my wisdom teeth. I went to the office yesterday because the side was like throbbing and it turns out I have dry socket. I'm like really bad at explaining what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's like when the blood clot comes out and then like food gets in it and stuff and like the hole and then it gets like infected and stuff. But either way, it's like supposed to be extremely painful and it is. And so pretty much I have to come back to the office like every other day and they have to put like a new medicated gauze in my hole. Like they rolled up this tiny strip looking thing and shoved it in there and he was like it's gonna taste like Christmas and I was so confused. And I kind of just laughed, thought it was one of his dad jokes that he says. And it tastes like Christmas. Like not in a good way, like it tastes like clove and like pine and like it was so strong. And it was like that for a couple of hours and then it kind of like faded or I just got like used to it and now it just tastes like chai tea. It sounds so weird but it's what it tastes like. And so now this side doesn't hurt but now this side hurts and so I feel like I have dry socket on this side now. I don't know, I'm just like a whole hot mess. And my face is still swollen but I feel like it looks normal to me because I'm just used to it being swollen at this point. But I know it's not back to normal. Also, all the people at the orthodontist, or I don't even know what to call it, all the people there saw my TikTok. Which I don't even know, I'm surprised because the people at my doctor's office and dentist and orthodontist see my TikToks too, but it really caught me off guard. Also, we have our last volleyball game today, which I will not be participating in because clearly I'm not getting better and I'm still in a lot of pain, so it's kind of disappointing. But I still have like club season and stuff, so that's good, I guess. I'm so hungry and I have to take my ibuprofen. I have to take ibuprofen every six hours, like as needed, but it's always needed every six hours. Um. Which, it's weird how I'm doing it. Um, like, where it always falls is at, like, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Um, which, I'm not staying up till 12 to take my meds, because I go to bed at, like, 10. Um, so I take, like, Motrin, because I can, like, rotate it. But anyways, my mouth is in great pain right now. So I need food so I can take my ibuprofen. I need to self-tan, because... My skin and face, her body and face are not matching, but it's okay. It's not bad. Okay, I'm going to do my lashes and then I'll be back. Okay, lashes are done. I also threw on my jewelry. Ooh. I'm going to curl my front pieces because it just looks weird. Okay, it kind of looks crazy right now, but it's fine. It will... It'll all even itself out. But that's it. Bye, guys. Love you. Hey, guys. Get ready with me to go to Manchester for a couple of days. It's literally so cold right now. It's insane. I got a new Charlotte Tilbury setting spray yesterday because the one I had, to be fair, lasted me since December last year. And it's only now running out. So I got myself a new one for winter. I'm just going to try spray it as a base. Um... To like prime because apparently you can do that for some reason i thought the size was bigger but it's literally exactly the same I don't know why i thought that i'm so excited because we're probably actually most definitely gonna go to the traffic center i've already been once and we're gonna go again i love it so much but it's just so when i do get ready means like really early in the morning my brain is not functioning like i cannot talk I need to at the same time pack my makeup bag. I just put my Charlotte Tilbury thing in and my Stay Drops because I can't be asked to take any more skincare. I'm not going to do my makeup as heavy today because to be fair, all we're going to be doing is sitting in a car and getting there. I've been trying to like get back into get ready for me using like TikTok, but I'll be so real. For some reason recently, I've kind of like been put off TikTok. Like I just haven't 
like really wanted to film if that makes sense but i am gonna oh my god what's going on with my voice i am gonna try more because now i've kind of missed it you know what i mean so i'm gonna like try post a tad bit more which i feel like i have been doing but definitely not as much as like before like i feel as though i need to cut it down a little bit because i used to post scary me's every single day and it just got really tiring so i think i'm just gonna like post maybe like every other day like a get ready with me i might say that i might post every day or like not every single day if that makes sense but like i'm just gonna slow it down because i do feel like that will help me like post more regularly okay i'm gonna let my eyelashes sit a little bit and then i'm gonna do another few layers but that's pretty much my makeup um yeah okay bye guys cassie cassie It's coming round for a two day sleepover So get ready with me Also do you hear that? That's Ty the Creator Guess where Scarlett and I are going on the 19th of May 2025 Tyler the Creator's concert Today my mum cost tickets Literally like 10 in the morning She went on like the pre-sale thing So my mum, Scarlett and I Are all going to Tyler the Creator's concert and I'm so excited I don't think anyone understands I'm literally so excited I'm over the moon And I've got a lot of good concerts next year so it's currently 10 to 2. I've been awake since 10, but of course I'm late, so I've been a lazy lob and I've stayed in bed. I'm really annoyed because I woke up super duper early too, but I'm still going to make the most of my day. So Scarlett's going to be coming in 2 hours and 10 minutes. She's coming at 4. I might ask if she can come a bit earlier, but I still need to deep clean my room. I just can't go over the fact that I'm literally going to see Tyler the Creator alive. Like, am I dreaming? Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I went um, to London with my mum yesterday. It was a really nice day out. I actually didn't do any shopping. I'm really proud of myself. I've been so good with spending money lately. Like, I just haven't been shopping a lot. Like, who who is this? What have you done with Layla? I already did my face mist and my hyaluronic acid beforehand because my skin felt really dry. Sorry, how is it the second to last day of October? Like, tomorrow is literally Halloween. I'm so excited to see everyone's Halloween transitions. I think they're all going to look so cool. I bought these really pretty flowers yesterday too. Look how cute they are. I think I'm a bit too excited for winter. Like, I had this really nice pumpkin candle and it smelled like cinnamon and pumpkin and it just smelled so autumnal and it smelled so good. I've got my snow fairy candle on. Like, my pumpkin one, I finished it. And now I'm just in the mood for snow fairy in winter. I'm not going to be doing any makeup today only because I don't really see point i think the only time i'm going out today is probably scarlet and i were gonna get some pumpkins because who doesn't want to carve some pumpkin this week is going by really fast and i don't like it stressing me out because i'm back at school on monday and i don't know how to feel because i'm excited but then i'm thinking to myself layla you sick in the head why are you excited because i know on that monday morning i'm literally going to be sobbing my eyes out while i'm getting dressed for school so i don't know why i'm excited I love these roly thingies they feel really good also i've cleaned up my eye my eyebrows a lot i think they look really good i've barely been using my scar slayer lately but i need it because my skin i just feel like it looks so bad not because there's spots there's barely any spots but because there's so many spot scars but when i tell you this glow hot beauty scar slayer gets rid of spots scars spot scars i mean it because it literally makes your skin clear up so much now we're gonna watch lots of horror movies tonight so i'm really excited you know what i really do want to re-watch frozen like i just really want to watch frozen i love it and i just know in another life i was olaf i just behave like olaf i behave like a snowman and i have no shame in saying it this song's gonna make me cry monsters inc because it used to always make me cry when i was little and i remember i got this sully teddy once from i remember there used to be this disney store in lakeside i'm pretty sure and i got it and i just really remember this teddy and i really want to watch monsters inc i feel like i've talked so much i've just run out of things to speak about and this doesn't feel right because i never run out of things to speak about my my mouth is like a non-stop motor and i don't know what to say right now i'm gonna put a bit of drying lotion on from maribodescu right now because i mean i'm literally not doing anything today and i've got a few spots that i need gone and this stuff works miracle if anyone has any really good horror movie recommendations please let me know in the comments because i genuinely feel like scott and i have watched every single horror movie preferably one we don't have to buy 
anyway. Something like that's actually good because people are telling us to watch Terrifier. We've watched Terrifier 1 and 2. First of all, I am traumatised. Like, I am really, really traumatised because thing is there's not even a plot like there is no plot it's just gore and it is so scary like the gore is just so scary but not the actual plot so does anyone have ones that have really good plots plans you know what i really want to watch henry danger you want to know why because henry danger is fit sorry i had to say i had to say what we're all thinking okay i'm all done bye queen hey guys get ready for me to go to adventure island and we hit 200k I'm so happy. The giveaway is going to be in the next video. If not, it will still be posted today. So don't you worry, guys. But guys, I'm actually so happy. And I just want to let you guys know that I love you all so, so much. So I hope you guys love the giveaway I'm doing. Last night, I shaved my face with my little, like, razor from Superdrug. And as I've just put this on, my skin literally feels like a baby's butt. My skin actually feels so nice. So for makeup today, I don't really know what to do. But also, I'm excited once again because I think this is for my friend's birthday, kind of, so, like, we're getting fast track. Um, but I've never had fast track at Adventure Island. I don't remember the queues being that long. Like, I remember them always going quite fast. But, yeah, and also I'm so excited because on Saturday, I'm going to Thorpe Park with my best friend, her cousin, and then his friend from our school. I just know it's going to be so funny. But also, guys, please ignore the drilling outside. We're getting my, like, garden tiles done or something. Guys, I'm also in a panic because, basically, I've got a Halloween party tomorrow night. And I don't have the shorts for it because I thought my friend that was coming around had two pairs. Because the person she was doing it in the past wasn't doing it with her anymore. So I thought she gave the shorts back to her and then she was going to come around with a pair of shorts. But it turns out they still have the shorts. So I've asked my dad if we can go pick up from the house. And I also need the tie for it as well. If you guessed, you guessed. Not gonna lie, guys. Now that I've been to, like, Thorpe Park, I feel like Adventure Island is really small and dead. Because I just remember the raid being so small, but it was so fun. So for makeup today, I kind of just want to thin layer. But my outfit for today, I've got these, like, opaque tights. And then I've got this, like, balloon skirt on. And then um, I've got this jumper on from New Look. Oh. Guys, I'm getting a bit stressed out because it feels like there's hairs all over my face and there isn't. Like, as in, like, you can just feel it. Guys, we have a new friend called Pimp entering the building. I'm really thirsty. Is there anything in this? Right. This is my favourite concealer hack I now never stop doing. If you place it lower and blend it up, it doesn't look as white under your eyes. And it also doesn't create that, like, crease when it goes in that line under your eye. Okay, base so far is kind of eating. Okay, now I'm going to use a sport for choice cream bronzer palette. P. Louise. Guys, this bronzer palette also smells like cookie. I'm going to use my P. Louise pressed powder. I'm going to put my Glow Fruit Lash Serum under my lashes. Okay, I'm going to use the NYX Professional Lip Liner. This is in shade Moave. And this is the makeup. Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah. I think my biggest mistake on a school morning is the extra... 10 minutes of sleep i decide to take after my mum wakes me up because i'm not being funny i always just think like when my mum wakes me up i'm just like oh like an extra five minutes won't hurt but that five minutes like never comes i end up waking up extremely late or i just i just can't be bothered and when i eventually do get up i'm stressed because i'm like rushing around my room trying to get ready for school so yeah those extra five minutes are never worth it because i'm not being funny I just get so stressed when I don't have enough time to do my makeup and all that, like today. So my mum woke me up and I did get up sort of, but then I just sat in my bed and kind of stared at the wall for like a good like 15 minutes. And then I eventually went to the toilet for a wee and brushed my teeth, but it took such a long time. And now I've got like no time to actually get ready for school. Like it's 7.50 right now and I'm still on my foundation. My skin is actually breaking out so much. like. I think this is probably one of the worst states my skin's ever been, probably. But I guess we have to live love, love. Like, honestly, I've tried everything. I've tried not doing skincare. I've tried every product there probably is. Like, nothing even works. It's so annoying. But yeah, I guess we kind of have to live love, love past that. I think the timetable's all right today. I have got science first, and that is just ruined my mood. I can't even cope with science. I genuinely hate it so much. It's so bad. I have PE though, and I do really like PE. It's BTEC and it's a physical lesson, so I do need to get my PE kit as well. 
that thought has distressed me out a little bit. But yeah, I've got PA, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't really know what else I've got. I'm, I've got English. Um, what else? I don't really mind English, I quite like it. Um, childcare, I like childcare. I like everything today apart from science, so sorted. Okay, I just did my sense spray. I didn't realise, but it's really running out. Um, done that, then we're gonna finish like the rest of my makeup. It's 7.55 and my hair's still a mess. I think I'm gonna leave it in a plait though, because I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna do my lips and curl my lashes. Okay, I'm already now. Obviously, I need to just kind of do something with my hair, because it's messy, but my makeup's done. My room is actually spotless, is a line I'd never thought I'd hear myself say. So all morning, literally since like eight o'clock in the morning, I've been deep cleaning my room. Honestly, it has needed it for the longest time. I can't remember when it was, maybe it was, yes, no. In a get rid of me, three days ago or something, I said like, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean my room. I, I, I never ended up cleaning it, but today I did. I'm very proud of myself, guys. But I'm getting ready because we need to go to a few shops to get some things. Um, I need to get batteries for something else that's going to be in my room. So, stay tuned for that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. I got the pink iPad. I literally bought this for myself. I'm so happy. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't do like an unboxing or anything. I opened it downstairs. I was just too excited to wait. But yeah, I've literally been wanting to get another ipad for the longest time because i had my mini one since like 2020 loved it that was my whole heart and then it broke literally like earlier this year maybe even last year or am i being dramatic i don't even know probably was and then we just forgot to bring it to the ipad shop for ages until we finally did so it's been in the ipad shop right for so long literally forgot about it and then all of a sudden finally started getting some updates it was like needed my password so I gave him all the passwords that I think it would be and all of them were incorrect. I don't know how, I don't know my own iPad password, I swear it was one of them. Anyways, long story short, they can't fix it so I bought a new one instead. But I'm so excited to play Roblox and watch movies on a big screen again, finally. But actually no, this, is, this feels weird to be there because my old iPad, obviously it's bigger than a phone but it wasn't big, it was the iPad mini. And I had another one before that, which was also an iPad mini, so I've always been used to them. So to have a big iPad is just weird. But yeah, I'm just going to do my skincare. And oh my gosh, yeah, I got this top from Zara when I went shopping with Alana. So cute. So all to me. I literally, I can't believe Halloween's tomorrow. It's literally about to be November. That is crazy. I'm back and I'm better. Who's excited for Christmas, guys? I am. Honestly, this is actually weird, though. I have no clue what I want. Like... Most years I've got a whole list probably by like July. I am, um, I don't know. I've got so much stuff that it's just like, I don't even know what I want. And also, it's just like, honestly, I have so much stuff. Cleaning my room today was a whole mess. Like I had to throw away so much stuff. So to get more stuff, it's like, where am I even gonna put it? It's just gonna create mess again. So anyways, guys, I'm all ready. So yeah, bye guys. Get ready with me, but I just found out that I'm in the Guts Tour movie. I literally woke up this morning for school, so tired, and I was scrolling on TikTok, and then I read my comments, and they're all filled with people saying I'm in the Guts Tour movie. I've never jumped out of bed so fast. All of a sudden, I'm awake. Then I immediately tried calling my friend Gio, but he didn't answer. I told my friend to watch like the video. Apparently, like I'm in it like during logical, and it's just me and my dad. Like. I mean, it's so cool. I haven't watched the clean thing at all, but I will watch in a second. I really hope that like my friend Gio or my mom was in it. Cause I'm pretty sure like at that time, which it was during logical, like that they were like saving like a spot and I was like over here, like watching her closer. I'm not sure. You know what this means? That literally famous people saw me. So many famous people were at the premiere. So that means that they saw me. I'm sure they didn't even think about it, but it's okay. That means Chaperone saw me. That wasn't even the only time that like I was recorded. I was recorded like so many times, like at least like five times the cameras were like directly in our face. But I didn't even have high hopes because we were recorded like a million times during the Eras tour and none of them were on the movie. So I went to the last night in LA and I also went to the first night in LA, like her first show ever. The first night was insane. I was on the floor and I was front row, front row. She touched my hand. I know y'all see my nails. 
they're short yeah and boring but i like my last nails if you look at my tiktok like they were 3d and there was so much going on with them i just kind of was like this is too much like i'm sick of these so i ripped them off and i just did short nails but short nails make me feel so much more clean like i don't know and when you have like 3d on your nails you can feel it like you it feels like heavy and thick i do not want to go to school today like actually today's a perfect day to miss guess what i'm doing today i'm literally competing for twenty thousand dollars in dress and press what the heck how is that even possible it's kind of weird but i think we're going live on twitch too i've never gone live on twitch or actually we've never ever even gone live on twitch or done anything on twitch so look up our twitch it's probably like selfless squad gaming i don't know what it is so and watch me win because i'm the best okay guys i'll be back i'm gonna do setting spray do my eyelashes and eyebrows and then i'm gonna watch the movie okay guys my makeup's done now we're gonna watch apparently i'm in the clip during logical Oh my god, I see me. Look, okay, it's me and my dad. Wait. <laughs> I think they put that in because, like, dads don't normally say Ovi Rodrigo, but. Oh my god. Wait, not me being famous. Like, stop. Okay, guys, I gotta go to school now. Peace out. Hello, guys, you joined me at 10 to 8, and it is the second night, the second party in a row. But it's a Halloween party, so. It's extra fun. Anyway, right, you may be like, haven't you already done your hair makeup? Yes, I was in London today doing a shoot with Babylon Goose. So I was going to come home, take my makeup off and redo it. But I've just decided to keep it on. But I wish I kind of put primer on now because it's like peeling in places. So my solution to that is to put on a load of like fake cuts and everything to hopefully cover the bad makeup up. It doesn't even look bad on camera, but in person, like, can you see like here? Oh, actually, that does look really bad. So, but like, it's also going to be dark. Like, it's not you worth the effort there, of redoing like, it. That would yeah. be really good in photos there we go this could go bad though but i don't really care because my makeup already looks bad so it's like who actually cares at this point also found some scar wax so i could potentially use that and then i'm also thinking of curling my hair because it just looks really flat because i didn't even straighten it i just dried it straight so it just looks weird I really need to get some like volume like mousse oh look at my parting as well like what is going on with that i think it i don't even know what time it starts but um it finishes at one in the morning so i'm gonna be so tired i don't know what it is i don't know if it's since i've like got older or something every time i get to party it gets past 10 p.m i'm ready for bed it's so bad like i'm yawning so yawning bad. the whole time like it's awful and i'm also driving tonight as well so i'm gonna be even more tired right i don't even know what i'm doing but i'm just gonna take a brush and hope for the best okay, i'm gonna start with like a yellowy kind of color uh i don't even know if i have a yellow eyeshadow it's time to now whip out all of my old eyeshadow palettes okay i found this random palette in my drawer so i'm gonna use that i think this is gold but i need something like yellow then orange and make it look like disgusting um okay i'm just gonna go in with some random ones like maybe like a bright like orange and hope that this oh my god this is gonna go so bad i can literally already tell guys i think i've gone a bit too overboard it looks like i'm turning into violet from willy wonka <laughs> anyway you know what switch up the outfit last minute i've just given up all hope like i'm now just chucking random colors on my face like just just get up. I've done one here. It kind of looks like I've failed contour attempt though. Like I shouldn't have done it like on my cheekbone. And I'm thinking of doing one like here. Okay, you know what? So far, actually not so bad. So I'm now gonna get some Benetton because I'm thinking that's red. That might add a bit of special effect. And I just found this random red lip balm and I'm putting it on my forehead as if it's a cut. But it's not really I put Benetton on and then it kind of took off the eyeshadow. So oh right right everybody get out I knew this would happen because i did the gold tears so well for the salt burn outfit and i wasn't expecting them to actually turn out well so i've used up my one good halloween costume now it's all gone bad okay let me know why i decided to put holographic purple on my forehead <laughs> no olivia actually look right now what do i even do i thought it was going so well and i just overdid it okay guys update tully's are not going to be hiring me anytime soon like the red's like I don't even know. Like, but I did a red Guys, lip. I think she's being dramatic because I think it looks good. Like, I'm not joking. This one kind of ate. This one, don't even Maybe know Maybe it's what's like the harsh on. lighting because it won't be this light. Let me change it. the lighting. Hang on. See, I don't think that looks bad at all. I, think I don't like it, it though. No. But, okay, I'm now going to do my hair. I'm just going to curl it with straightness. This is where it all could all go wrong. But I'm thinking, I'm wearing these glasses. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm going as Top Gun. I did it a few years ago with a dress, but it was actually my mum's dress. And looking back, probably was not the best move. But, like, look, with the sunglasses, I feel like I can get away with that. So, I'm just going to curl my hair, put on the outfit, and hope for the best my hair and as always i hate it when i curl it i think it's because it's so straight like at the top and then the ends are just really really curled i need to get like an actual hair curler and not just use straighteners anyway that is the get ready with me so i need to now get dressed 
my phone's also on 20%, so I don't know what to do about that. Okay, guys, I've got to go, but here is the final outfit. I've got such a bad blister on the back of my foot from sprinting for the train, I'm going to have to put a compied blister plaster on. Anyway, Top Gun outfit, done. Love you guys. Bye. Get ready with me for class. I have two exams today, two of which I did not study for. I highly recommend not doing that because I am stressing quite a bit right now. That is not like me whatsoever. But I have all A's right now and I've been feeling so sick and tired. I just could not get myself to study. And I told myself I was going to wake up early so I could study, but that didn't even end up happening. I haven't even made my drink yet. I usually use like the bloom tubs, but I just ran out of mango and it's my favorite flavor. And I have some of these like travel packets left, so I'm just going to use one of these. I'm trying to just tell myself to calm down and I know what I'm doing in these classes, so I feel like I'll be fine. But I'm just, like, such a person to care about my grades. I can't, like, not care about them, you know? I'm really not going to put that much makeup on and I don't really feel like doing my hair because if I'm just taking exams, I'll just be, like, sitting in a class for an hour and then leaving. Like, whenever I have a class where I don't actually have to interact with anyone in it, I just do not care and do the bare minimum. College tests have been so weird for me. Maybe it's my mentality, but, like, on every test I take, I feel like I'm going to fail them or I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing and then I actually end up doing pretty good. So I'm praying to God that that will be the case for today. The panic will definitely set in once I see the first question on the test. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put my hair in like a bun and then put on glasses. Okay, well if this isn't the epitome of a college look, then I don't know what is. I feel like people always expect me to wear really cute outfits, but I'm just wearing this quarter zip and these sweatpants with my Uggs. Okay, I'm all ready for class. Wish me luck. I'm actually, I'm actually panicking. No, I'll do fine. Wish me luck on my test, please, because I definitely need it. But here's the college look. I gotta go, so peace out. Love you. Bye. Dating in New York City gets a bad rap because it's actually been really fun lately. Let's get ready for a little movie date. Going to see Smile 2. I am so excited. One thing you should know about me is that horror is my favorite genre. I've met far too many men recently who can't take horror movies. If there's anything about me, I will convince you to watch it with me. I actually was pretty scared of horror movies when I was growing up, but it's also my mom's favorite genre. So once I got old enough to understand it's not real, it quickly became my favorite too. So side note, you guys know that the Armani Luminous Silk is my favorite foundation to ever exist. This is like quickly sliding into number one. The e.l.f. Soft Glam Foundation is probably one of the longest lasting foundations and the finish of it is so stunning. This is in the shade 31 Medium Neutral and I would say that this is my perfect tan shade. Probably the equivalent to shade 7 in the Armani Luminous Silk, which is usually my tan shade. I would say that something that catches a lot of people off guard is the fact that I'm obsessed with horror movies. Like, I'm so obsessed with them that I could literally and have watched them at like 8 a.m. by myself sitting in my apartment. Like, my mom and I will enjoy our morning coffee while watching a gory horror movie. I've seen recent articles that if you enjoy true crime and like things like that, that you are a bit of a psychopath. If you saw the shit that I watch in the mornings, woo! One thing I was doing with dating in Nashville that I'm trying not to do here, I didn't really go on that many hinge dates when I lived in Nashville. Honestly, the talent pool was not there. Since I've been dabbling in the dating apps here, where was I going with that? I'm really trying not to get ahead of myself after like one or two dates with someone. I have to tell myself they're probably doing the same thing. Let me tell you, anxious attachment when it comes to dating and being single in a city like New York is so difficult because you go on a date with someone and you hope that they text you the next morning. And if you don't hear from them all day, you automatically think that they're gonna ghost you. Like it is such a toxic mindset with dating. That said, I know you guys are hoping for an update about my date on Monday. It was great. And I will say out of all of the men that I've dated since my ex, he is definitely the one that is most in tune with his emotions which I can greatly appreciate and is rare to find these days. All in all, I had a great time and I definitely hope that I see him again. Brief intermission, I'm dripping in sweat. So I have my second spray today at St. Tropez and this is hands down the best spray tan I've ever received in my entire life. Like the shade is absolute perfection. It looks so natural. I mean, are you kidding me? I have the world's busiest weekend and it pretty much starts tomorrow with a Halloween party. So stay tuned for all the get ready with me's. I haven't gone live in so long. Let me know if you guys would prefer me filming my get ready with me's or going live. Of course, I do some of my best makeup to sit in a dark movie theater. Here's the final makeup look. Now let me show you the outfit. Here's the final outfit. I am literally late everywhere I go in this city, but it's like 70 degrees outside. So I feel like this is gonna be good for the movies. Okay, bye. You guys were right, I did the whole curly hair routine wrong. Deja watched the video back and she was like, Mom, you put way too much product in your hair. My hair was getting curly, but it was so crunchy and it took forever to dry. I've literally got a little moustache growing.
bye bye i'm hoping one day this week deja can do my hair i've just got to find some time so much happening right now like today i'm flying to sydney to record for basically besties tomorrow we have a photo shoot for something that you saw earlier friday and saturday we're going away for a wedding and sunday if we've got time we're all flying down to sydney for the wicked premiere i've also got to get three brand deals done in that time because then i'm flying to new york also my iron infusion that i got a few days ago is doing the opposite of what i actually want it to be doing i thought by day three i was going to be feeling energized and a completely new person i feel so run down i got my nails done yesterday and i literally fell asleep then on top of all that me and tisha have been fighting almost all week anyways hopefully this iron infusion starts kicking in soon because i need it with me for school yes we're late but a little bit earlier today <laughs> I did heels curls again for those that don't watch my videos and then ask. Okay, it's 7.10 and usually we leave at this time, so probably be like 10 minutes late to school. In case you guys were wondering how many tests me and Lily have on Friday. Three. Three. We aren't even taking the same classes, except one. Oh yeah, I have three tests. One of my teachers said she might move it to Monday. I really hope so because I'm not going to want to take a test the day after Halloween. I have to go. I don't care if like three tests. I'm Yesterday, I was wondering what blush I used in May last year. This one. When in doubt, go back to this blush. This is the Say blush in shade Spicy. Try to say that ten times fast. Holy crap. I did my eyebrows last night, guys, and I think they look the same. Like, I don't even know how to do my eyebrows anymore. We'll probably be out by 7.30 and school starts at 7.30. All the girls being Kesha this Halloween. I'm so jealous. My mom was gonna be Kesha because she's blonde, and, but she decided to be like a sailor or something. Okay, I guessed it. 7 30 and we're done. Every morning we have oatmeal. That's it. Bye, guys. <laughs> Kind of. I'm gonna do like no makeup makeup because I have to go to Spirit Halloween today, but then I actually have to get ready for a Halloween party later. So I think we're just gonna curl the lashes and do some basic stuff. And then you'll help me pick an outfit just for the day. Okay, eyelashes are curled. Um, you know what? Let's just skip to the outfit because I have so many new White Fox pieces that I want to wear so bad. And hair will also be getting done later. Okay, so I definitely want to wear one of these two hoodies. I'm thinking this one with the matching shorts or this one with these little pink biker shorts. So let's just try them both. Okay, here's the cute little matching set. I love these shorts because there's an actual back pocket, which is so good to put my phone in. And it's just very comfy. But yeah, let's try the other one. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this one. I love these shorts. They're like seamless too in the front, which I love. And I feel like these colors look so good together. And just this design of this hoodie is perfect. But yeah, what do you guys think? I'm probably going to end up wearing this one because... I love it, and I'm already wearing it. Anyways, I'm just gonna put a little stuff on my lips, and then I should be good. The outfit is the main statement anyways. But yeah, guys, you'll see my Halloween get ready with me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Get ready with me for a chiropractor appointment while I tell you about my ACT today. There's literally nothing to say other than it was hard, and I hate math. I didn't wear any makeup to school. I looked like this. Like, this is how I went to school today. The test honestly went by really fast, and it wasn't, like, too bad, you know? But like, I just hate math. I'm not getting too ready because it's 6 o'clock. Like, why am I getting ready to go see my chiropractor? I'm getting my knee fixed because I don't know what is wrong with this. I don't know what's going on and it really hurts. By the time I'm 30, my knees are going to be really bad because I have horrible knees and ankles. Like, I've sprained my ankle like five times. I'm not trying to get all culture on you, but if you haven't tried an empanada, you're missing out, honey. This is a pumpkin empanada. It's so good. Mmm. It was 7 in the morning when my grandma was making this. Why are older people always up so early? Like, my grandma literally does not sleep. I see my chiropractor every Wednesday and I'm always so embarrassed because I like I get out of basketball and I go straight over there and I stink. Hello, focus. And she's like readjusting my whole body so I feel like I smell so bad whenever she touches me. One more thing, I'm doing my makeup tomorrow because look what I got in the mail. But anyways, besides the point, I don't know if I got my scores back yet. I'm going to go check that whenever I do. I'll let you know what I made. But that concludes this. Get ready with me. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hey guys, get ready with me while we talk about my favorite date ideas that are actually fun. First one is stargazing. I feel like all you really need for this is just to go to an open field and bring like a picnic basket of food. 
I especially think this one is really good if you guys are still trying to get to know each other. It also opens a lot of room for conversation. This one is pickleball. Even if neither of you are really good at it, it's still fun and a bonding experience. And also to see who's the more competitive one in the relationship. I'm starting to break out my forehead. Next one is I really like the idea of apple picking. It's also a really good opportunity to take really cute Instagram pictures and get posted. I actually have so many good Instagram captions for that one. One of my favorites is going to a drive-in movie. Like going to order food and then setting out a blanket and watching a movie. That would be so amazing. All of these are pretty affordable and they're great for bonding. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lashes. Another one of my favorites has to be going to like an obstacle course or a trampoline park. I'm a pretty active person, so all of these are going to be like going outdoors or having fun. If you guys want a tutorial on how to do natural looking lash clusters, let me know. Next one is go thrifting together. So one of my favorite ideas is going to an arcade. And all arcades are relatively cheap. Guys, also remember that a date is not about the date itself. It's about bonding with your significant other. And at the end of the day, anything will be fun with the person that is your favorite. All of these dates are fun regardless of how much money you spend. Okay, guys, but anyways, I'm going to go finish getting ready. I'll see you guys in the next video. Get ready with me for school. Today is going to be another good day. I could feel it. I do have a Spanish test today, and I do not think I'm going to pass that test. I haven't passed three tests in a row in that class. I also want Starbucks like really really bad but Starbucks is 20 minutes away but I woke up early enough for us to go. I've been wanting to wear lashes for a while just to see how I like them on me because I never like lashes on me. So I'll probably do that tomorrow since it's Halloween. Okay guys so we're gonna do my makeup now. I kind of want to try the L'Oreal like serum again so we're gonna just put this on unpopular opinion but you guys know how every like makeup girly likes winter because like their makeup doesn't sweat off for some reason i feel like my makeup looks the absolute worst during the winter like when i step outside my like um smile lines always crease it wasn't that bad yesterday but you know what was bad you guys know how i curled my hair yeah that thing turned into like a frizz ball and i had to put my hair in a ponytail the whole day and like it was so bad oh my gosh guys but i have a little story time of what happened yesterday Oh my gosh, I think this is my new concealer. Anyways, but basically, I walked with my friend to school, right? Mind you, it is an hour walk. And we were probably, like, 10 minutes into our walk, and we found, like, this little puppy. And, like, we gave it chicken because we had chicken in our bag since we were, like, gonna eat it in the morning. And then it started following us, and I was like, girl, you have to go home. Because, like, it came out from, like, a house, I think, and also it had a collar on. But of course it kept following us and it was a small little puppy so then like once we got to a point where like we were like oh it's not gonna go away so then i ended up like picking it up because i was like you are too small to be walking this far and i didn't want it to get like tired or anything so i picked it up and like i walked with it oh my gosh guys do i cry right now my plan was like oh i'm just gonna take it to school take it to pe but then i'm like i don't know what to do with it after that then we were almost to school and there's like this memorial hall like next to our school and a lady yelled across the street and she was like is that your baby and i was like no because like i didn't know what to do with it and then so i ran across the street to talk to her she said that she'll take it because she doesn't want it to get ran over obviously and then she was like i'll take it home i'll give you my number and then call me if you want it or if you know the owners and then, like, I told my dad about it, and we went to the house that, like, I thought it came out from. Turns out that it was, like, their dog. But, like, if that baby did not have a home, I would have took it home, and it would have been mine. Okay, guys, so we're all ready for school. What if, like, I wear these to look smart? These are huge, though. If they were smaller, I would low-key like them. But I'm kind of blind. Anyways, bye, guys. Love you.